Hey guys, so Vlogmas is officially over, which is kind of sad because I really enjoyed all of the Vlogmas videos that we vlogged this season, and I'm excited to have those to look back on in years to come, and I hope you guys enjoyed them too, but one season we are not out of is baby season. So if you don't know, I'm 38 weeks pregnant with our second baby. Our first daughter is 19 months old. We're having another girl and she is due any day now. So my official due date is January 10th. And um, I had a C-section with my first daughter. So we went ahead and put a C-section on the books for January 7th. Um, but if she tries to come before then, you know, I'm okay with trying a VBAC, that kind of thing, see how things go. But we'll see if she tries to come on her own or if we just go through with the C-section. So we shall see. But what I thought it would be fun to do is show you guys what is in my hospital bag. I love watching these videos, especially gearing up, getting ready for baby. I've been looking for different videos, watching other people's content, looking for vlogs about what people pack in their, um, in their hospital bag. So today I'm going to give you a look at what I'm packing to take to the hospital with me and kind of, and it's based on what I did use last time, what I didn't, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Okay. So the first thing that I got for our hospital stay this time is this awesome cup. My sister has this cup in like a really cute cotton candy, like ombre color. And I really like it cause it's so slim, um, but it's still large. And so as you know, when you're pregnant, you drink tons of water. And so I wanted something to keep my water cold at the hospital. So I ordered one of these and I'm loving it so far. This will be going with me to the hospital. And of course, everything that I have, I pretty much got off of Amazon, but I'll link everything in the description box below in case you're pregnant and you want to buy one of these things or you just like some of the stuff that you see because not all of this is just pregnancy hospital related so this is the first thing I think it's um simple modern is the brand so like I said they have some really cute colors but I like the uh winter white it's really pretty so but I, I also probably should have thought through it more just because white gets dirty very easily, but you know, so goes my life. I love everything white, so I'll just have to wash it more often. So the second thing, which is definitely a necessity in the hospital is an extra long phone charger. So this is one I got for Kyle last time that I used downstairs. I have my pink one upstairs, but I bought this last time when, before Emmy Kate was born and this was a lifesaver just because the outlets are so far behind you and it makes it easy to charge your phone um, while you're in the hospital bed or Kyle while he's on the super comfortable sofa. So I got this off of Amazon too. It's an Amazon basic, but it's lasted since Emmy Kate was born and still going strong. So um, it's very good quality. So definitely recommend. The next thing I'm taking that I didn't have last time is a sound machine. And this is a portable sound machine. It's the Hush. Um, Taking Care of Babies recommends this brand. And they do have a channel on the TV in the hospital that is white noise, but you have to leave the TV on it. It's just, it adds a lot of light to the room. So this time I'm gonna try this sound machine. It's portable. And um, that way we can keep the room a little darker Maybe I'll get a little bit better sleep. So the next thing I'm bringing is something that you don't necessarily have to have in the hospital, um, but you may want to bring just to be more comfortable is granny panties. <laughs> so I learned last time that I'm very particular about the cut and style of granny panties because especially after a C-section and since there's a possibility of me having a C-section again, I knew I didn't want something. The, ones I bought last time hit right between my, like right underneath my belly button. And that area was the most sensitive part and I hated any kind of pressure being on that. So I knew I needed something to either come below or above it. And these had great ratings on Amazon, seemed really basic, but um, they supposedly sit very high, um, which means that I won't have to worry about any pressure being on my lower stomach. So we'll see. But I'm going to give these a try. 
I'll follow up and let you know if they're worth it. But I'll link it below. All the reviews were great on these. The next thing I'm bringing is a robe. I did have a robe with Amy Kate when I had her and I loved it. It's a cotton robe. It's really soft and it's lasted me this long, but it is starting to show some wear and tear. So I decided it's time for a new robe and I went with one that is more of a slinky fabric. It's hard to tell, but I'll link it so you can see. But um, one thing I do love about this robe already is that the, um, the robe rope <laughs> or the robe sash is attached and so you can never lose it which I really like that um, so far but I love and obviously it's navy a color that I love but um, got that and it's really reasonably priced too so we'll see how I like this one compared to the last one some other things I'm bringing, I am not a fan of button down pajamas. And I know so many people who have hospital bag, like videos and blogs, talk about button down pajamas and how much they love them and how convenient they are when you're breastfeeding. And I get it, but I just do not feel comfortable in button down pajamas at all. So, but I am a big fan of long sleeves with shorts, those that kind of set. So I went on Amazon and found a couple that looked really comfortable. So it is a sweat, like a sweat pant material. So this is the first set. It's just a simple oversized sweatshirt with some regular shorts that have a drawstring. They're super soft and I'm excited to wear them. And I know that I'll be wearing them when I come home a lot too. This will probably be my uniform. And if I really like them, I'll probably buy plenty. Cause as you know, in a pandemic, Nobody's going out a lot and we're all wearing uh, athleisure all the time, <laughs> which has been one great thing about this pregnancy is that I have not spent much money at all on maternity clothes. I'm just making what I have work for me because very rarely do I get out of the house um, and have to be put together. So that's a plus. So I did get this oatmeal color, but then I also got a set <clears throat> that is this light pink. These have buttons. It's more of a Henley style. And so that may help with, maybe a little easier with breastfeeding, we'll see. Um, but that's the top and then the bottoms of course are similar, they have a drawstring. So I really like these and they're super soft. Haven't tried them on yet. Well, I did try on the shorts just to make sure that they would be loose enough and high enough and they fit over my belly and they fit pretty high. So I'm confident that after the baby comes, they'll be pretty comfortable too. So I've got those two. So the next thing I'm definitely packing in my hospital bag are nursing bras. So the main ones I'll be using in the hospital are these sleeping bras. And let me tell you, this brand is amazing. I, I bought this brand when I was breastfeeding Amy Kate and they're so soft and so comfortable so buttery and I love these sleeping bras. They're the bra, the brand Auden. I guess that's the name. <laughs> um, but they have two packs and they're very reasonably priced. They're super comfortable. So I'm going to bring those. And then I do have just a regular bra, um, which is a nursing bra for when we leave the hospital in case we have to stop and be in public anywhere. So, um, but it's the same brand as well, which is Auden. And they're super soft and comfortable and functional. So definitely recommend. The next thing I'm bringing, um, and I did not have this in the hospital last time when I had Amy Kate. Um, if you are planning on breastfeeding, um, I do recommend to bring some nipple balm with you. So I learned last time that this is so helpful when you're breastfeeding because the first two weeks of breastfeeding are the toughest. Everything hurts so badly, but this makes everything feel so much better. And it's organic, so it's okay for the baby as well. So the brand I use is called Boobies. And it's, I just got this at Target. Um, and so I also bought this brand of um, breast pads too. And they're organic as well. Early on in my breastfeeding journey, I used the disposable ones just because as your milk supply is regulating, 
I, I had a lot of excess and a lot of leakage, so the disposable ones were great, but then further along, I started using reusable washable ones, which worked out fine as well. So, so yeah, definitely bring some nipple cream if you're planning on breastfeeding. Other things I'm bringing, I am bringing some swaddles with me. So, um, I have learned that I am not a good swaddler with just a swaddle blanket and these swaddles have made life so much easier. I did try to buy the Ollie swaddle. I was looking, I've been looking for one, but they've been sold out for a while, but I used these. These are swaddle me brand, um, with Emmy Kate and these have been my favorite. I bought several packs of them. So I'll be taking these with me to swaddle little baby so she can be comfy and cozy and secure because I'm not good at swaddling with a blanket. Other things I'm bringing, I'm bringing several baby pajamas. So one thing I've learned is that with baby newborns, um, outfits are not always the best. I have learned that my favorite thing to put a newborn in is a one piece zip up, zip up. So these are the key things. It zips, has footies, and has the hand covers. So I've heard that the mittens can be choking hazards for babies if they're not swaddled, that kind of thing. So just for peace of mind, I like the hand covers and it's built into the outfit. So everything is simple and easy. So I've got several of these. I have newborn size, but also zero to three months, just depending on how big this baby's gonna be, which I feel like she's gotten huge in just the last two weeks. So we'll see. My doctor is predicting eight pounds, five ounces, but Emmy Kate was eight pounds, seven ounces. So we'll see if he's right or close. <laughs> the next thing I'm bringing is a uh, Passy. So the last time I did not take Passy to the hospital, I did a lot of reading on breastfeeding before Emmy Kate. And a lot of people talked about like nipple confusion and how Passies can interfere with breastfeeding but since having Emmy Kate um the night the first night we were in the hospital I remember she kept crying and a nurse came in and asked if we needed anything and I said no I don't think so and she said would you like a passy and I was like yeah let me get one <laughs> and we tried it and it helped so much just because you know babies this the sucking um is soothing to them so that way she could suck on the passy and I could get some sleep. So I'm definitely bringing a passy this time. And I got this kitty pad. Somebody got this for our baby shower. And so I have this, but I also have the event too, just in case for some reason she doesn't like one of them. So another thing that is in our in my hospital bag is a pair of compression leggings. And these are the brand, I think you say, blanky this is another instagram facebook ad that i kept kept seeing pop up they make maternity leggings um and i was they were having a huge sale so when i buy some maternity leggings but then i was like i have like a month left i just need to buy some post maternity postpartum leggings and they had some which are compression that help suck everything in <clears throat> they're super soft. I bought a pair last time with Emmy Kate, but I just went with some kind of off brand on Amazon. <laughs> and I think I ordered a size too small because anytime I put them on, I could not breathe and they kept rolling down. They were just super uncomfortable. So I'm going to try these. Hopefully they work out better. But I brought these to wear just in case. Um, or just if I feel like I need a little extra support. Another thing in my bag is a nursing tank. So this is one that I got off of Amazon as well. Um, so it unlatches here and is great for nursing. And um, I wore this underneath my robe last time, just as a little added protection. Um, and just so I felt more covered, but um, it's fitted it, and it has the latches so it's super easy makes breastfeeding super easy while you're wearing it so that's a look at what is in my hospital bag i know i am more on the 
um, minimal side of things with my hospital bag. I've seen other people talk about like packing snacks and things like that. But if I do end up having a C-section, I just remember last time I wasn't able to eat for like over 24 hours. And so I don't need any snacks tempting me. Um, but I'm not a really big snacker anyway. So no snacks in my bag yet. I might change my mind and pack some candy since we can't go in and out of the hospital. I can't send Kyle to go pick things up or have someone bring some things to us. So we'll see if that changes. But I'm also, since I did have a C-section last time, I don't know if I'm missing anything. Like if I do end up having a VBAC, you know, are there other necessities? I've seen other bloggers and vloggers talk about some things that they've packed in their bag. And at this point, you know, I feel like the hospital will have everything I need while I'm at the hospital and I can pick up things that I need after um, when I come home. So we'll see. Well, that's a look at everything in my hospital bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe it was helpful to somebody or maybe it's just entertaining, um, but I hope you enjoyed it either way. And I will be checking in later this week with a vlog. I'll be vlogging my 38 week appointment or just before and after, you know, that kind of thing. And give you guys an update on baby and where we're at on our baby journey for baby number two. And um, until then, we'll see you later. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Yeah. Let's